What we want to do is we want to sketch the following functions, okay? We want to sketch f of x is equal to x uh, squared, okay? We want to sketch that. That's the question. And the answer is, well, we've talked about that all day. That's just a parabola, and we're sketching it, so it goes through zero, and that is a parabola, and that is a sketch, okay? And this is the x, and this is f of x um, uh, axis there, okay? Now the next question is, why don't you sketch uh, g of x uh, is equal to x squared minus 3, okay? Now notice in this case that we're taking our function x squared and we're just subtracting a constant value from it, okay? So we're basically dragging down all of our values that we had and we're dragging them down 3 units. Okay, so our parabola is going to look like this, okay? Because for every value we had here, we're just subtracting 3 off of it, and so it drags the whole graph down, okay? Now, what if we had h of x is equal to x squared plus 2, okay? Like this. What would that look like? Okay, same kind of thing. We have our graph. We know what the parabola looks like, and for every point, we're adding two points up. So every point goes up. So you see what's going on here. You subtract off a constant value, drags it down, you add a constant value, it shifts it up. So that's the shifting up and shifting down that we had talked about. Okay? Next problem. Okay, so what if the next problem asked you graph the following? f of x is equal to uh, x minus 3 squared. Okay? So you see, it is a quadratic because look, x squared here is the, is the function here, and all we're doing is we're inserting a minus 3 in here, x minus 3 squared, uh, there. So it is x squared, it's just that we're modifying the inside there, and so this is going to be a horizontal shift that we talked about, okay? So this is going to be a horizontal shift. So if this were like this, is it going to shift it left or right? Well, if you look back, it's going to shift it to the right, like this. Okay, and the reason is that if x squared is here, the center of this graph is here for x squared, then it's going to move it to the right here, because if I put x is equal to 3 in here, then this is going to go to 0, and that means it's going to shift that 0 point to the right, because f of 0 gives me 0, and if I put 0 in here, f of x will be 0. So in order to get to this 0 point, I must put a 3 in there. So that's why it tells you that this x minus 3 shifts it to the right. Otherwise, you can just memorize it. That's fine, too. But I'm trying to show you logically why that actually works. Okay? Now, what if you wanted to graph h of x is equal to x plus 2 squared? Okay? Then what you would have to do there is look at it, look at it in a similar manner. Okay? You have x and f of x. Okay? It's the same thing. You've got x squared going on, but instead of x minus uh, something. You've got an x plus something. So that's a horizontal shift to the left two places, and that's going to graph like this. Okay? So I, I hope this is, this is uh, making sense to you, and basically you can look at it the same way. Look, it's, a, it's, a, it's, kind of it's using the function x squared there, and the reason it shifts it to the left is because if I put negative 2 in here for x, which is what I've done, then I get 0 for the middle here, so I'm changing my 0 point and I'm moving it to the left there, and that's why that works, okay? Next problem.